so uh, we're going to pick up my new wheels today. Well, I'm hoping we're going to pick up my new wheels today. Basically, I ordered these wheels from eBay. They were shipped through FedEx. FedEx came to drop them off at my house. I wasn't here, so I requested a local pickup like in an afternoon and waited, 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 and never said ready for pickup. So I'm like, okay, I'll go get them tomorrow. So I look up the tracking and it says delivery attempted. Um, Recipient refused the package due to damage returned to sender. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Like, I didn't even look at the package. This is the FedEx facility. How are they the ones that are determining whether or not I want my package? Like, that's not fair. Like, I should be able to look at this. So I start calling and I, I talked to like three different people back and forth. Like, I, I was pretty patient. You know, I called. They said they called me back in two hours. I waited like four hours. They finally called me. And they were supposed to call me by the end of the day. They never called me. So, anyway, the last thing I heard last night was that. They don't know where the package is. They might call me today. They might call me two days from now. They don't know. They don't know if both of them are split up. They don't know why it happened. They don't know how it happened. They have no idea. No answers at all. They don't know. I'm like, okay, well, this is awesome. Like, my wheels that I'm really excited for and that aren't just, like, replaceable are in thin air. So, I, I, I didn't get too mad about it or upset because I figured it would work out. But I got a notification on my phone today saying that your wheels are ready for pickup. And if you look at it, it's like... Nothing ever happened. It's like, you know, recipient refused, all this stuff. Uh, yeah, they're ready for pickup. Taylor can pick them up now. I'm like, what? So we're going to go try to pick them up and see what happens. I hope they're there and I hope they're not messed up. We'll see. Ah, I'm so nervous. All right, I made it to the FedEx facility, which I should have not picked this one. It's in Waterford, which is like a super, super, super busy, like, shopping area, I guess you could say. Uh, regardless, I'm going to snap my finger and hopefully you'll see a set of wheels in here and not a disappointed Taylor. <sighs> that was, that was an ordeal. We got them. Um, they, I don't, I don't even know. They said that the package had been, had a giant hole in it. It was all messed up, which is why they refused it, but the package looked fine. The packaging was kind of shitty, not going to lie. The eBay seller didn't do a great job, but I had to take all the packaging apart to fit them in here. Okay, back to the house. I'll show you guys what they are. Let me show you guys what I had to do to get these wheels in here. This is all the packing material that Homeboy used. Like he just had stuff like this thrown in a giant box. So even going to like pick the box up, it felt like the wheels were just gonna rip out the bottom because they were not like tight or secured in there. So I don't know if they repackaged this and then brought it back to that facility because they refused it or what. I don't know what happened, but I have them. They're not in quite as good a shape as I thought, but let me get them unloaded and I'll, I'll show you guys them and explain what my plan is. All right? Cool. I don't know if you guys are already able to see that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you them now. So we've got a set of work VSKS. 18 by nine and a half plus 40 something or another. 18 by eight and a half plus something or another. <laughs> this is literally the same size as the wheels that are on the car now with a little bit more aggressive offsets. So I wanted a set of work VSKFs forever. They're my favorite wheel right now. Uh, and they have been for several years. So I started thinking about it. I'm like, okay, I could buy some cheap China wheels for like seven, 800 bucks or some better China wheels for like 1300 bucks. Or I could just suck it up and spend the money and buy the wheels that I really truly want, not just wheels that'll look okay and that I'm okay with. And I was looking and I found these, which the 5x120 PCD, which is the bolt pattern and such, uh, is super rare. And I found them on eBay and I ended up getting them for 950 bucks. It was a total accident. The dude was asking like 1300, I offered nine, he offered, went back to like 1150. And I was like, oh, I should do a thousand. I'm like, no, I'll do 950. I don't really have the money to buy these right now. I really shouldn't be buying these right now, but if I can get them for that, I'll be happy with it. And he took my offer. <laughs> 
So now I have a set of work VSKS wheels that I've always wanted. Now they're not the greatest sizing, and I'm definitely gonna wanna rebuild them down the road, but we're gonna try them on and see what they look like. Dang. Oh, it looks just as good as I thought it would. Keep in mind the rear will go down more. That one piece of wood isn't pushing the suspension up all the way. But. Fitment wise, I think we're looking pretty good in the rear at least. The front's definitely gonna need a spacer until it's rebuilt. Which I knew and expected. Oh man. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rear in the front just to see what it looks like. Oh, that's like perfect. If only I could find, have found a set that was all like the rear. Stock, boring wheels, VSKFs. Back to boring wheels until we can get tires mounted. <sighs> All right, it's hot, by the way, it's hot. <clears throat> so uh, my plan with these wheels is going to be to eventually get them rebuilt, you know, rebuild them with like exact specs that I need for this car. But that needs to come down the road because one, money, it's expensive. Two, um, I need to figure out once I have my angle fully sorted in the front, how much offset I need to give the wheels so they don't hit the control arms. And I don't want to do that with spacers if I'm going to rebuild the wheels. I'd rather like do it right. I might not be able to, but we're going to try. So that is the plan. I'm going to mount tires on, on them as they are and just put them on and drive around on them and have them on my car because I'm, I'm just way too hyped for them. And they don't fit bad. I'm probably going to order spacers for the front too. I'm like going to do that because they definitely need them. So spacers for the front, get tires mounted on them. We'll put them on and then those will be the wheels for the Corvette for now. And these can be extra drift spares. So. I'm happy. I'm so hyped. That was such a stressful situation. I can't believe it worked out and I ended up getting the wheels and they weren't damaged. I mean, they're in a little worse condition than I thought they were going to be in based on the uh, pictures on eBay. But, you know, it is what it is. That's kind of what you get for buying something cheap and on eBay, sign unseen. So, let me know what you guys think of the wheels. Let me know what you think would have looked cool on the vet. Um, but these are definitely my choice. I think it's a perfect mix because I'm going with the JDM kind of style, but BSKS has that muscly kind of feel to them, like a Krager SS or something. So I think it's like a perfect balance uh, of what should be on this car for me, for my taste. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are on the wheels. Uh, let me know how you feel about the car and the progress and what you want to see next and everything and how everything. Let me know about everything. You guys are great about voicing your opinions. Let me know how you feel. Keep it up. Thank you. Uh, so thank you for subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.